Some alarming new findings on a weed-killing chemical. A study by the Center for Environmental Health says 90% of families tested have it in their bodies. And most kids have more than their parents. Those findings come as the federal EPA weighs whether to reapprove that key ingredient in Monsanto's Roundup. Reporter Julie Watts looks behind those numbers. Yeah, the Center for Environmental Health reached out to parents who've either researched or reported on chemicals in kids in the past, and we decided to take them up on the offer to test both me and my daughter for weed killers. It's not the first time a study found chemicals inside people's bodies, but it is the first time they compared the levels in kids to their parents. To say she takes her work home with her may be an understatement. As a pollution prevention director at the Center for Environmental Health, Su Chang is careful about the food her son eats. We've definitely been taking precautions, eating more organic cereal and food whenever we can. She recently worked on a study that found the Roundup chemical glyphosate in nearly 70% of the oat-based food items on school menus. Doesn't need a lot. So when CEH decided to test parents and children for the weed killer inside their bodies, she and her son volunteered. Organic turkey sandwich. And despite her best efforts, the lab found the weed killing chemical used in Monsanto's Roundup in Gabe's body at much higher levels than his mom's. Were you surprised? Because I work on this issue, I was not necessarily surprised, but I'm definitely concerned. She says in all, CEH used an independent lab to test a dozen parent-child pairs who all reported consciously trying to avoid pesticide exposure. Still, the lab found nine of the children had higher levels than their parents, half had twice the amount as their parents, and one had nearly a hundred times more weed killer in their body. That doesn't surprise me. Environmental health scientist Asa Bradman was not associated with the study, but says while glyphosate residue in food is likely the primary source, kids are also more likely to come in contact with the chemicals at schools or parks. They often have higher exposures because they eat more, they drink more, and they breathe more per unit of body weight than adults. Now, the active ingredient in Roundup is increasingly controversial after a jury found it caused cancer in a local school groundskeeper. Monsanto says the weed killer is safe and points to the EPA, which says there are no risks to children or adults from currently registered uses. But health advocates argue the EPA primarily looks at studies funded by Monsanto. Official positions differ. The World Health Organization has classified glyphosate as probably carcinogenic to humans. The European Food Safety Authority says it's unlikely to pose a carcinogenic threat, while the California EPA lists glyphosate as known to cause cancer. You know, Monsanto says it doesn't cause cancer. The EPA says it's safe. Does X amount of glyphosate mean you get this disease? Well, some more study needs to be done, but the studies that have been done are showing serious health concerns. While there are established occupational exposure limits for adults, there is no established safe level for kids, for exposure, or the amount of chemical inside their body. And bottom line, should parents be nervous? Should parents be afraid? No, I don't think parents should be afraid, but information gives people power. Now, the Center for Environmental Health advises parents to buy organic whenever possible and talk to your schools about buying organic food and avoiding chemical weed killers on campus. We should note, as for our results, I actually had the lowest levels of any parent in the study. My daughter had the fourth lowest levels of all the children, but she still had significantly higher levels than me. And we have to assume, since we eat the same things at home, that she must have been exposed at school.